Yeah, hi guys. Behind me is the State Health Lab in Rocky Hill, where every day scientists are inside examining COVID samples at the atomic level to determine which variants are spreading. Right now, no signs of Omicron, but they tell me it may just be a matter of time. Fox 61 taking an exclusive look into the state's level two biocontainment lab in Rocky Hill, where COVID positive samples are analyzed. This is where Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta were all first discovered. Now Omicron knocking on our door. Is it here already? Omicron, do you think it's already here? Uh, it's a matter of time when the first case will be declared in the United States. And if and when it's found in the United States, can it be kept out of Connecticut? Yeah, that's, that's a tough question. It depends on, on how much, uh, you know, the travels happening between in and out of the state. The State Health Lab in Rocky Hill and the Jackson Labs in Farmington are two of Connecticut's biggest tools to find Omicron. Both are stepping up their surveillance efforts through a scientific process called genomic sequencing, putting samples of the virus under the microscope and analyzing the mutations on the spike protein. Most labs that are doing testing have the ability to recognize a potential Omicron on day one. This is the 3D model of Omicron, the colors showing all the changes from the original virus. Now take a look at this chart showing all the COVID samples analyzed in Connecticut. Red is the Delta variant. It only took two months for Delta to take over. Now it's all Delta. We haven't seen a non-Delta case in over a month. Nationally, only about 5 to 10 percent of all the COVID positive samples are being analyzed. Here in Connecticut, much better, 25 percent. Getting primed to be able to respond. Respond to a largely still unknown enemy. Scientists pointing to the same public health measures that have gotten us this far. Distance, masks and vaccines. It's what's going to work with Omicron, what worked against Delta, what worked against Alpha. And the director of the state lab told me that if Omicron is already here, it'll likely be discovered in the southern part of the state closest to travel hubs like New York City. And once a case is identified, contact tracers will then work to identify any close contacts of that particular person. And the public, of course, will be notified as well. We're live here in Rocky Hill. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.